isomers of hexane, there is nothing called isomers of hexane. Hexane, it's a straight chain of six carbon atoms joined by single covalent bonds. In fact, in this video, we're going to learn how to draw and to name all the structural isomers for C6, H14, and hexane is one of them. The first isomer for C6H14, we can draw six carbon atoms in a chain like this. And the name of this structure is going to be hexane because we have six carbon atoms and these carbon atoms are joined by single covalent bonds, then it's going to be hexane. What if we join five carbon atoms and the sixth carbon, we are going to add it as a group or substituent. For sure, we cannot add the sixth carbon to the end carbons. Because if we do this, we are going to end up with the same structure like the upper one. And for you to get an isomer, you should get a different name. If you name the structure and you will have two structures with the same name, then they are not going to be considered as structural isomers. For you to get a structural isomer, it should have a different name. So here, we have three possibilities. We can add the carbon to carbon X, or carbon Y, or carbon Z. If we add the group at carbon X, then it's going to be at the second carbon, we start counting from the left, and it's going to be 2-methyl something. If we add the carbon to carbon Z, we, have, we are going to start counting from the right now, and also it's going to be called 2-methyl something. So X and Z, they are the same. So we have one possibility to add the methyl at carbon X, and one possibility to add the methyl at carbon Y. If we add it to carbon X, it's going to be called 2-methyl. If we add it to carbon Y, then it's going to be called 3-methyl. And the longest chain is 5 carbon atoms joined by a single covalent bond. It's going to be called pentane. So, we are going to draw it like this. And the name of this one, 2-methyl. Pentane and other chance if I join the methyl to the third carbon like this and this is called 3 methyl pentane. As you noticed, nothing wrong if I join the methyl above the chain or below the chain. All are the same because these bonds are rotating. What if we draw four carbon atoms as the main chain and try to add the two carbons as groups? Since we cannot add the groups to the end carbons, we will end up with two places to add these groups, either this carbon or this carbon. We can add one methyl to each of these carbons. So it's going to be like this. Or we can add the two methyls to the same carbon like this. These are the only possible cases if we have four carbons in the main chain. Let me draw them and name them. And to name this structure, it's going to be named as 2,3-dimethyl butane. The other one, and we're going to start counting from the right. Its name is going to be 
2 dimethyl butane and these are all the possible isomers for C6H14 if you think that you can have more isomers please try to draw them and name them if you get a different name than those then it's an isomer and please write its name in the comment section but I don't think that you can find more isomers for C6H14 I hope that you like this video and see you in more videos good luck and now you are ready to solve the end of video questions if not repeat the video again if you find my videos are useful subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified and watch the new videos don't forget to share this video with your friends and write me a comment thank you